Hugh, hello, welcome to Look North. Our top story tonight, being a family from West Yorkshire, say their father has been let down by the health system, despite being promised cradle to grave care. 83-year-old Tony Thompson, who has dementia, had always been cared for by his family. 14 months ago, they asked for respite care for two weeks. But now, after a catalogue of problems, Tony has deteriorated so much that he never will be able to return home. Charlotte Leeming has been to meet his wife and daughter. We did speak to the Leeds and York Partnership NHS Foundation Trust, which runs the mount. They said the ward uh, I was at, uh, ward one was a dementia inpatient wards which provide assessment and treatment for people with symptoms including challenging behaviour. They said their priority was patient safety and well-being and would investigate the concerns of the Thompson family. Further. Well, joining us now in the studio is Catherine Smith. Catherine, we're not going to get you to comment on, on uh, Tony's case in particular, but is it common for people to be waiting that length of time? It is really difficult. A growing ageing population, this is going to get worse, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, the system is cash-strapped, both health and social um, care. So, how was your journey to work today? For scores of commuters, the misery goes on following the timetable changes by Northern Rail. That's right. Today, the company rolled out an emergency timetable. So has that been any better? And will the government's promised inquiry actually change anything? Well, our transport correspondent, Spencer Stokes, a family support service in South Yorkshire which helps victims of domestic violence, says it's facing a funding crisis. The Pathways Centre in Barnsley says if it can't raise £50,000, it could close by the end of August. Luxmi Gopal has this. You know, in all the years I've worked here at Look North, these were the pictures that stunned the world. The once majestic Holbeck Hall Hotel that has stood on a cliff south of Scarborough for more than 100 years, sliding dramatically into the sea. Incredibly. It's 25 years since that happened, when overnight 55 metres of garden fell away. Much of the building followed within 48 hours. Well, Olivia Richwall joins us now from that... And we all met Richard Whiteley live at the time <laughs> when the hotel collapsed behind him. God rest him. <laughs> Let's have the uh, sport now, if we can, Tanya. And uh, Leeds Rhinos waving the flag. They are. Only <laughs> Yorkshire team left in the men's challenge on the donor register. Absolutely. Thanks, Thank so. you very much, Tanya. Now, 20 years ago, a Yorkshire pharmacist and his wife decided they wanted to do something a bit different. So they bought an old potato farm outside York and set about planting a garden. They had no formal training, but both loved plants, so much so they now have thousands of them. Their garden, at 20 acres, is one of the biggest in Yorkshire, but it's also one of its best-kept secrets. We've been for a look. By the, by the looks of it. I can see you in a garden like that, though. <laughs> me too, Harry, me too. I'm getting a bit excited now because we've got some weather statistics <gasps> coming. <gasps> the forecast tonight. Oh, it's nice to have him back. I've missed him, have you? Yeah, yeah. I don't care what you say privately about him, but I think he's good. <laughs> That's as far as we go. We'll see you a bit later on from all of us here. Night night. <laughs> <laughs> The family of a West Yorkshire man suffering from dementia say they feel he's been let down by the health system. 83-year-old Tony Thompson had always been cared for by his family. 14 months ago, he went into respite care, but after a catalogue of problems, it's now unlikely he'll ever be able to return home. Charlotte Leeming has been to meet Tony's wife and daughter. Next tonight, the government has ordered an independent inquiry into the introduction of new train timetables, which has brought chaos to Yorkshire commuters. Northern has introduced an emergency timetable today in hope of stabilising services. Our business correspondent, Spencer Stokes, explains. Spencer Stokes reporting there. A brief look now at some of the day's other stories. And a man has appeared in court today, charged with the murder of a woman in Woonwell. 25 years ago, these pictures gripped the nation. An iconic Scarborough hotel that has stood on the South Cliff for more than 100 years, dramatically sliding into the sea. Over the course of three days, Holbeck Hall's gardens slipped away, followed by much of the building. The landslide changed the resort's coastline forever. Olivia Richwald has this special report. And tomorrow on Look North, we'll meet some of the people on the East Coast living with the risk of coastal erosion. So that's your news for now. A look at the weather. Uh, at 6.30, you're telling us about some fantastic facts about...